Hello, welcome to OCR Level 1-2 Cambridge National Certificate in Information Technology. If you are interested in this course, there are three units that we cover. IT in the digital world, data manipulation using spreadsheets and using augmented reality to present information. This is a new course that our Year 9s and 10s are working on at the moment. And the assessment is made up of one exam, which is worth 40% of your overall grade, and two centred assessed tasks, which are worth 60% of your overall grade. The qualification grades range from a level one pass up to a level two distinction star. The first assessment is an exam. The exam paper is worth 70 marks and it is 90 minutes long. It's worth 40% of your overall grade. You need to achieve at least a level one pass in the exam unit in order to achieve a pass in the overall course. In this unit, you will learn about design and testing concepts for creating an IT solution or a product and uses of the IT in the digital world. The topics that we cover are in the dark blue box and it will give you an idea of what is being studied. In year nine and 10, you will have practice papers, mock papers, you will go through exam questions so you'll be ready by the time your exam comes around. The next assessments are two centre assessed tasks, they're worth 30% each. This is a controlled assessment and is over 12 hours in class and it will be marked by your teachers. It is marked as either a pass, merit or a distinction. With a controlled assessment, all work is only completed in class. It is not the same as coursework. There will be lots of guidance and support to help you with in the class. Assessment one. Data manipulation using spreadsheets looks at a variety of different areas. You will learn how to plan, design, create, test and evaluate a data manipulation spreadsheet to meet the client's requirements. You have to also be able to evaluate your solution based on user requirements. So for example, we have um, a business dog training um, at the bottom of your screen and we'll be able to look at spreadsheet solutions for this. So for example, we will look at attendance figures, you will look at the different types of classes that are offered, and you will be able to manipulate the data yourself. The next assessment is using augmented reality to present information. So in this unit, you're going to learn how to design, create, test and review an augmented reality model prototype to meet a client's requirements. And this is a piece of students work um, that they are currently using and trying in class. The skills and qualities that you will need are time management skills. For example, when you're looking at your controlled assessment, you will have a limited amount of time to complete the task. You need to manage your time effectively. Researching when you're looking at different um, pieces of work from your augmented reality or your spreadsheets, you need to use market research data in order to meet your client's needs. Report writing, all of your reports need to be submitted in a professional document and the language needs to be as such. Resilience, you're going to be taught many new skills and it is going to take time to learn. You need patience, but you also need resilience in order to succeed. Creativity, with solutions, they need to be appealing as well as functional. And last one, problem solving. So how do you meet the client's needs in the most efficient way? These are only a few of the skills and the qualities you will develop over your time with us. What career options are open to you? You can decide to stay with us at sixth form and have a A-level and ICT. You can also look at apprenticeships. You need to be thinking about the role that ICT plays in work. When you leave this, 75% of all jobs will require you to have some IT knowledge, expertise, some of the jobs that you can go into. Information security, systems analyst, data networking, um, web developer, and there are many more options. What is the difference between IT and computer science? Computer science is the process of creating usable programs and applications and theories of those processes. 
and information technology is the application of already created computer programs and networks to solve business processes. If you would like to find out more information, my details are on here and please get in touch. We would love to have you on our course next year. Thank you.